I mean,
the good things. And Allah says, Lock up, call up, now and stand after you. I sent it up, way. I created you in that Hassan, Husna. I created you in the best. So I encourage you to pray for the best, not the less. And Muhammad, the Prophet, Islam, he said, When a Muslim seeks to do something, he seeks to do the best, the excellent, same root word. Because he created us, the Hassan, Husna, etc. And we ask Allah in that dua to protect us against the torment of the hellfire in this life and the big hellfire in the next. And as we point out, the word that is used there is not associated, it's not wali. Wali, protector, right? Protecting friend, etc. Allah's el wali. So to have a wali when they're going to get married, someone to look out. But here, although they translate it as protect us is wacky associated with taqwa rabbana anti nafi dunya hasnatain wa fi akhirati hasnatain wakina wakki wakki taqwa a consciousness bring us into a loving fear of Allah righteousness goodness so when we pursue this world we want the best but we don't want to do it at any cost we want to have the right mindset the right spirit when we go after this world. So we don't lie, we don't oppress people, we don't deny others for us to get the best. So we say, give us the best, but give us the right mindset that will help protect us. And Allah says in several places, particularly when he concerning Ramadan, he says, fasting is prescribed for you, like it was prescribed for those before you, so that you will come into this taqwa that I put inside of you automatically. And Allah says in short sense, Wa nefsin wa that I leveled your soul. For al and I've enlightened it with a desire to come out of darkness, but also a desire for righteousness, taqwa. So in that dua, it's powerful that we want to pursue this world with the right spirit. And we want to look to the act here with the right mindset as well that we won't neglect our responsibility, just look into the future, right? Like some had told us, oh, just look to the after state while they getting all the real estate. No, we want the real estate and the after state and the best. Alhamdulillah, I mean, a lot in the dua. So we pray that Allah the Most High will accept our Juma today by in the Salat and cleanse our hearts and our minds that our intentions will be clean, good, and honorable. Amen. And always as we remind ourselves from Juma, Allah says first in Quran in Surah Juma, Surah 62, the first ayah, which gives us the reason for everything else, for closing the business, and come in and all of that. That's established in the first ayat. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. You send me who lillahi manfi semewati wa manfil anti maliku kudusu azizul hakim. That whatever is in the heavens and the earth, do glorify Allah. That's so Juma. So once you come into that mindset, man, you understand why on the other end, shut the business. Think on Allah, because Allah says, whatever's in the heavens and the earth, do glorify him as what? El Melek, the sovereign ruler. I'm going to shut down everything, although naturally I do this. I'm going to shut down because I have to glorify Allah and succinct with whatever's in the heavens and the earth. We're not out of succinct. Allah created it all, right? So Juma is a sign of us being in succinct with what? Kalaka. Kalaka semewati wa art that bell. Ha! Allah say he created the heavens and the earth in two. But in the Surah Juma, you said be holy lahi, whatever is in the heavens and the earth, sun, moon, star, trees, ants, birds, dogs, trees, whatever, virus, this, that, it, all of that is not independent. Allah says, this, I am El Malik, this is my kingdom. So it's all glorifying it in his own way. And Allah says that, right? There's not a crawling creature, nor birds with his wing, that doesn't worship subhanAllah. 
know his mode of select. He says, how Malik will produce the sovereign ruler, the king, and as a caduce, the holy one, the source of righteousness, and holiness, Allah produce, a caduce, and as these mighty power. The all wise Al Hakim. And Allah says, Muhammad the Prophet, Islam, he tells us, so we went from Quran, what Allah says of Juma, and then we know in the ayat 8 9, it says, shut the business and all of that. But this is why. Once you have that concept, hey, <laughs> no, no, no problem. <laughs> And in the second ayat, it says, It is he who raised up from among the Umin and Rasul and Menhum, a messenger from them to recite his sign, Zakihim, and to purify them, you only Muhammad Kitab, well, Hitma, and to teach the book and the wisdom where before they are of the Dolin. That's the second ayat of Surah Juma, 62. So glorify Allah, right? And then it mentions the message. That's what the Juma has established. Glorifying Allah. Acknowledging Muhammad the prophet who Allah chose to establish it. And it's done in the way of Muhammad the prophet. When you got that. Nobody, you get that? That's why, this is why you close the business. When the time for Juma is made, right? And it says, and you assert yourself and start thinking on Allah, etc., right? But Muhammad the Prophet, sallam, he said the Juma is the most important day for the Muslims, right? Most important of the week, etc. He says, on this day our father Adam was created. And it's on this day that we will be resurrected. And he says that on this day, the angels attend the Juma and they take attendance as we come in. But the most important is the goodbye. Because they say, on that, once the Juma goodbye begins, say the angels, they come inside and they sit down and they listen to the goodbye. Very serious, right? Very serious. So they take the attendance as we come in. Muhammad the Prophet said something. They say, on this day, our father Adam was created, right? And it's on this day we'll be resurrected. And you know, Allah says in Baqarah and other places, when he created our father Adam, what did he say? Allah says to the angels. Malaikati. We said, cool. When he said to the angels. Jailun filati khalifa. And in another place, he says, Khalikun basharum. He said, I am making in the earth a khalifa, right? So he say, and in another place, he said, I'm creating a basha. So he said, it's on this day that we were created, right? And he said the angels, he said, he spoke to the angels and said what he's doing. And the angels responded, etc. But Allah said what? <laughs> he said, make salat. And so he said, he said he taught Adam the names of everything, right? He taught him the names of everything. Then he told him to inform the angels. Then after that, he told the angels, make sujur, ejma'i, all together, make sujur to Adam. The angels. And they say, all of the angels make sujur. Except Iblis, who was a jinn. He was among the angels, but he was a jinn. Free will. Leader of the, of, of the angels. And Allah said to him in another place, it's Juma on Friday, creators on Friday. But the point is the angels may send them. So keeping that in mind, and then 
as the rest goes, we know all of the angels may subdue, may subdue, except the jinn, at least. And Allah said in another place, Malaka! <laughs> Malaka! In Bakr, he says, what Akbar was stuck for her, that at least be filled, you hear Akbar, Estakbar, comes from Akbar, big, great. That he saw himself as big and great, and it's bigger than what he was. That's what I said, Estakbar, big headed. Akbar, he refused, and he saw himself as bigger than what he was. He lost his mind. And we know it because Allah said in another place, why don't you do this? He says, and at Cairo Minhu, I'm better than him. Really? And why do you think you better? Kalak Tani Minada. You created me from fire. Kalak Tehu And you created him from mud. I don't have to. See, you see himself bigger, you tell him to Allah. Allah know what he created. So it says. On this day, Muhammad the Prophet said, how important the angels. And he said, it's the same when we was created. The angels was present, right? Because Allah said to them, I'm making a caliph, Adam. Angels present, just like him. And another place said, Ejma'in, Ejma'in, Juma, Juma. Make all together, not one at a time. Make such all together. Well, anyway, Allah says, now, he, he draws the angels' attention to what he's doing because there's several reasons. They said, you want to make bloodshed and all that? They said, but we've been glorifying your holiness, right? Praising you and glorifying your holiness. But Allah is so, we want to say, thoughtful, considerate, whatever terms we want to use. He could have just created us and not said nothing to the angels, right? But this is wisdom. The angel's role was going to increase. So he's letting them know I'm making something, but, but your response, yes, you're glorifying me and praising me. You're doing all the wonderful things. But when I bring this creature into being, your role is going to increase, right? Because now you're going to be assigned as an angel of death, right? You're going to be an angel of revelation to bring Quran, Jabril, right? You're going to be an angel to do this. You're going to be an angel on that brother's right, on that brother's left. You're going to be a sign to be on these human beings left and right. You're going to be a recording angel of their life, right? So their role is just them with Allah. SubhanAllah, SubhanAllah. Well, I'm bringing in a new creation, and it's going to impact on you. And you know how we go on him and say, why did you do that without telling me? I'm always the last one to know. We know that conversation, right? <laughs> so Allah didn't do it. Allah called them together and said, this is what I'm going to do. And now what do you get? You get the angel Mikael, right? Jibril, bring the revelation. Haru and Maru, right? You get all kind of different angels now, right? And their responsibility is to bring revelation to record. Then Allah says this concerning us. On the night when Quran was given to Muhammad the Prophet, he says, that I'm that that on that night, Layla to Qatar, therein comes down. It doesn't say Nazareth came down, that they constantly come down every Ramadan night of power, right? It says Tanazalu, meaning it's consistent. It didn't, it didn't say, Nazareth, they came down. It says, Lelo to Qadr. Well, man, rock and man, Lelo to Qadr, right? Lelo to Qadr, Cairo men Alfie Shah. What will explain to you what the night of power is? Lelo to Qadr, Cairo men Alfie Shah. The night of power is better than a thousand months. Well, what happened? Therein comes down the angels and the spirit by the permission of their Lord obeying every assignment. 
That's Quran. So he's telling them, and so it's it, 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 your responsibility, you're going to have more to do than here just praising me like this. No, I'm bringing a creature. And he didn't tell them they was wrong. When they said, what you want to cause when it's called mischief and bloodshed? Yeah, that's part of your responsibility. People are going to be dying. You're going to be the angel of death. Well, I say, when the angel pulls the soul out, right? So, angels. Alhamdulillah, Rabbi So, in Surah Al Fatir, Allah says this. Keeping that in mind. Surah 35, Al Fatir. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillahi fatiri semewati wal ut jai lil malai kati rusulun uliya ajni hatin listen mithnan that praise be to Allah the originator of the heavens and the earth right that's what it says who made Jai little Malai angels with wings to, yes, Miss Nanny, yes, with the letter three, well, who made angels with wings two, three, and four. The originator who made them with wings, two, three, and four. And Allah says, well, you see, do feel God, he may share. And Allah can increase the number as he pleases. Angels with wings, however we want to, and we mentioned that last week. We think of birds with wings, or you think of something physical, but it's also associated with something spiritual, because Allah says to us to do what? Exact same word. Yes, Jannah. Jannah. The same word he tells us. He says, and of your parents, do what? Lower the wings of humility with mercy. You see? There's several levels. Birds got wings. But Allah says, obviously we got wings. He said, because don't say bad words to your mother, right? To your parents. He said, because they took care of you when you was little, right? Now, as they're growing and they're starting to decline over time, right? He says, and lower, go look it, you can look right in it. Lower the wing, same word, of kindness with mercy. So here Allah says, just wanted to mention this, that he can increase the number. So whatever angels, whatever two, three, and four, I, I know that's, the number that occur in our salat, we make two raqqa, for one we make three raqqa, and we make four. I'm not talking about the number of times it occur, but those are the numbers that occur, right? Fed is two, Margaret is three, Isha, Dua, and Oz is four, right? So Allah said, man, angels with wings, two, three, and four. And we can go on with that. And Allah says, Inna Allah ala kulli shayin qadir. For surely Allah has power over all things. And here, so when we perform the salat, we know the angels are present. Angels are present here, the Juma, etc., right? Angel of Revelation, Jibril, but the angel of Revelation to Muhammad the Prophet. You know, the salat is associated with angels, right? It says, says Muhammad the Prophet was there at the Kaaba, right? Uh, uh, Isra Maharaj. And it says, Jibril came. And took them from there, the nearest master, the Kaaba, built by Ibrahim and his son Ishmael, right? And took them, Allah says in Surah 17, to Master Al Aqsa, the father's master, right? And from there, but it was a Jibril, Muhammad the prophet didn't go by himself. Then he took them up, right? And they prayed, and the dome of the, the, the uh, yes, uh, 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 yes, the dome, uh, dome of the mount, uh, of the rock, right? You get it in your mind because in the dispute, some call it the Temple Mount, it's done one around, etc. right? So he ascended up, right? And we won't go through all. 
But when he went up to each level, this is beautiful. When he took him on the first level, take your braille now, right? On the gate. It's still seven, right? We know the ascension. Say now. And the keeper of the gate said, who comes there? I read the Hadith, right? He said, it is Jabril, <laughs> the angel. But then they asked him, well, who accompanies you? See how he's a son? Who's with you? <laughs> we might be used to you coming by yourself. Who with you this time? <laughs> he said, it is Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa And they opened the gate. And there I found the Adam on the first level, right? And they say he greeted, Assalamu alaikum, ya Abi Adam. Abu Adam. And Adam returned the greetings, wa alaikum assalam, ya Rasulullah. I've been waiting for you a long time, Muhammad. And he returned the greeting. And all the way on up, Jibril, until he got to the highest level, the seven, and he knocked. He went through all of them, right? John, Jesus, Idris, Aaron, Harun, Musa, on up to Ibrahim, and he opened the gate. Who comes there? That's always the question. He didn't just open the door. Who comes there? Who is that? I'm the Jibril, you know me. <laughs> but who accompanies you? Who is that that's with you? All praises due to the Lord. Muhammad the Prophet Islam. And you know when you read it, it says, has he been sent for? Is it time? See, everything happens on time, right? Allah says, what us? By the token of time, man is in lust except those who believe and do good deeds and join one another in the mutual teachings of truth and patience, right? So they say, is, has he been sent for? He has. And they opened the gate, and he said, Our father Ibrahim, alayhi salam, who prayed for him to come. And he greeted him, Assalamu ya Abu Ibrahim, alayhi salam. And Ibrahim returned the greeting, Wa alaykum assalam, ya Rasulullah. We've been waiting, I prayed for you when I built the Kaaba. Read that. Say, when him and his son Ismail raised the foundation of the house, they prayed for Allah to accept the prayer, right? But also to, to raise up that, that, raised up from among them a messenger from them to, to teach them the book, the wisdom, etc. So Ibrahim prayed, and now he gets a chance to meet Muhammad the Prophet. And you know the saying is, it's so good. The higher up you go, the broader your vision, right? The higher up, the broader. If we go on this route, you can see as far as New York. So the higher up you go, the broader your vision. So that's why I say, we taught last week, fly high as the bird, man, go high. When they go low, you go high. Your vision is broader, right? What did Allah send when they sent the elephants feel? Big elephants on the ground, a lot of birds. So the higher up you go, when they go low, you go high, man, broad vision. So you'll see something up there that you may never saw down here. Keep climbing. So when he gets, he greets Muhammad, he greets Ibrahim, alayhi salam. And, but he's with the angel Jabril, right? Now, he gets the salat, right? The Salat come down from the ascension. Goes down, goes back forth, then he comes down. But who took him up there? The, the, the angel. So you know the angels associated with Salat? We say, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. When you're praying by yourself, I'm praying by myself. You still have to give the Salams on both sides. Who are you talking to? Maybe it's an angel, I don't know. I know I'm by myself, you by you don't say if you by yourself, you still don't greet, right? We salam out. I greet you because I see you. But I'm by myself, you by yourself, right? And you say, Assalamu alaikum. Well, rock my And it's assalamu alaikum. 
Now, Assalamu alaikum is group. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. And we're taught we can go straight to Quran. There's an angel on the right, angel on the left. So, now, my point is, the angel is going up. But he's made, understand this, these angels are there to assist us. The angel come and don't come here and get the cookbook. The angel come and listen to the cookbook. Keep it straight, Mustafa. The angel took Muhammad the Prophet Islam up. The angel brought the, 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 the revelation, right? The angel had to make sajda, right? To have him. So after that, we come, he comes down with the salat. And he meets Moses, go back and forth. But alhamdulillah, we know the Salat came down from the ascension with the angel. So Muhammad the Prophet said, uh, it is on this day you create, on this day you'll be resurrected. On Yawm al So, before we close first part of the Quran says, and you never know what they look like. Tell them you see spiritual beings. You could be you could be functioning as an angel, you don't even know it. Because a lot of signs, and we know because the law says, and we won't stay there, a lot says, oh, here's two points. Muhammad the Prophet was sitting with companions, right? And they said, Man, a man walked up in all white. Right. And he asked him a few questions, right? And when the man left, his companion said, who was that man? He said, that was Jibril who came to teach you your religion. And Allah says, when the angel appeared to Miriam, say he appeared in every way looking like a man. You never know who you're talking to. Always be kind. You never know how to test this. You don't know that human being, angel, this, that. That's just something we don't comprehend. How you functioning, right? So be kind. You never know, right? You never know what test this brother is bringing. You never know what this person is bringing in that capacity. You don't know. So anyway, without standing there, I'm standing here in Alpha Tier, the originator. So. We have Salat associated with the angels, and we know that. So Allah says, it's so beautiful, we have to close. He increases it, the number, as he pleases with their power, wings, power, whatever you want to go with that. And he has power of all things. And 